You know what today is? It's Q&A Tuesday. Let's get right to your questions. Paula from Facebook asks, I planted garlic two weeks ago. The warm weather has them sprouting now. Should I worry about the spring crop? No, Paula, you shouldn't be worried about it at all. This is natural. It happens once in a while. We'll have what we call Indian summers and it's warm temperatures well into the fall. What I want you to do though is make sure you cover those up with a little bit of mulch, like a leaf mulch or something, just to keep that ground stabilized temperature-wise throughout the winter. All right, Deborah from Faith Facebook asks, I think the bulb is confused. What will happen this spring? The bulb is a little bit confused, but it will be okay. This happens again, just like the garlic will start sprouting a little earlier because of warmer temperatures. You do wanna make sure you do mulch over those bulbs just to keep the temperature stabilized once again throughout the winter. Finally, Georgetta asks, I have several hollies on my property. Do I need to do anything to them now to prepare them for the winter? Well, Georgetta, we have had a bit of a drought. So what I'd like to do, and what I recommend with most all our evergreens, our rhododendrons, our azaleas, our arborvitaes, is spray them with something called Willproof, especially if you live near the water or you have a spot that gets a lot of wind, because what they will dry out. Willproof is, an, is, a, is a natural substance, it's organic, and what it does is it actually coats the plant and it keeps it from dehydrating throughout the winter. Um, you can spray this, now's a good time because the plant isn't actively growing anymore. It's gone to its dormant state where most of the moisture has gone down to the roots. And believe it or not, you can also use this on your Christmas trees or your evergreens, and that will keep them lasting much longer. It's a great product. Thank you so much for your questions. I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great day.